What's up, man? It's your big bro, Trend. You tuned in once again. And if you know, like I know, don't nothing happen by mistake. Everything happened for a reason, all right? Stay tuned to the end of this video. I got something very, very special for you. But let me, let me first of all tell you what happened today. So here I am at the mall, you know, just give me a little bit of, you know, a little bit of gear. You know, I went to the store and caught me a new, fresh new hat. You know what I'm saying? And I always wear my hats. I always get my name on the side of my hats. So I bought the hats and I left the store because um, they had to stitch up my hat or whatever. So, you know, I'm just out, just walking the mall until I get a, until I uh, get some type of report on my phone notification that like I need to come pick my hats up, right? So as I'm eating, as I'm sitting at Chipotle in the food court eating, I get a phone call from a, from a, um, from an Arizona number. And I'm thinking in my mind, I'm like, oh, that's the, that must be the, that must be the hat store calling me to come pick up my hat. So I did answer the phone. And so I finished my food. I walked back up to the hat store and I see my hat on the spindle still being finished to be uh, stitched up or whatever. So I just sat there and waited on, on the, um, on the girl at the front who was at the register. I just sat there and waited for her to handle the other customers. So as I'm just sitting there waiting, she finally looks at me. She's like, hey, uh, what can I help you with, right? And so I'm just like, um, um, did y'all call me? Cause I'm, I'm just coming to get, get my hat. She was like, no, I didn't, I didn't call you. Uh, did, did, what do you mean did we call you? I'm like, well, I thought that's why y'all took my number down. So then when my hat get done, y'all can call me. You know what I'm saying? It was an Arizona number. And she's like, oh, really? She was like, oh, nah, that wasn't me to call you. Um, that wasn't us. She's like, um, as she's taking the hat off the spindle, she's like, do you think you're popular? You, you, you think you're popular, huh? You thought you thought out we was gonna call you or something? And I'm just like, I'm like, no, I just, I wore my hat. She's like, oh, oh, okay, well, yeah, yeah. She's like, are you kind of, are you kind of special? And I'm just like, I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a really special person. But you know, deep down in my heart, I know I am special. You get what I'm saying? And I finally got my head. And I don't know if this chick was having a bad day. I don't know who spitting her cornflakes or what. But I'm just saying that all to say, man, it's so it it's so many Decepticons out here who just disrespect you for no reason. It's not even funny no more. I mean, they they come in by the multitudes now. And, and here's the thing. You don't really even have to do nothing for them to disrespect you. They just going to do it naturally, man. It's just like they're they going to show their negative side. And they're going to they gonna gaslight you. They're going to lie to you. They're going to they gonna try to say slick things like old girl did because they can feel your energy. They feel that you're the chosen one. They know it's something different about you from everybody else. You might be the, the quiet type. You know, you're not trying to get close to people. You just mind your business. It don't matter. They're going to come over there and still try to mess with you. You know what I mean? They're going to still try to... They will still try to act like they cool with you and they all just to like turn their back on you at the same damn time. These people are mentally sick. You know what I mean? And I'm just letting you know, like when you know who you are, when you happy with just being who you are and you don't need nobody to vouch for you, you don't need nobody to validate you. You know, you don't need to be around people to feel cool. If you're just happy with who you are and you know who you are and you confident in that, a lot of people just gonna see that, and since they can't be that, they're gonna try to call you out your name. All right? They're gonna curse you out. They're gonna they're gonna tell lies to you that not even true. You know what I mean? They're gonna just they just gonna just completely just talk down on your name. They gonna they gonna call you so many different names, man. Like it's ridiculous. And the reason why people is calling you these names is not because that's who you are. See, one thing you gotta understand: when people is calling you out your name. And they telling you, you this, they saying you that, you this, you that. Folks, they words don't have to be accepted by you. Okay. You don't have to, you don't have to swallow the pill of their words. You don't, you don't have to listen to what they saying and believe what they saying is true. They speaking curses on you. All right. This is what people do when they get around a chosen one, folks, they'll start to speak curses on you. Like, like, no, you're not that you're this. You're not that you're that you're this, you're this. Like they say all kinds of things. I mean, you can be finally getting money for the first time in your life. They're going to say, you're a scammer. You're, you're a joke. You're this, you're that. You, you stealing money. Da, da, da. They're going to say everything. Man, you money hungry. You money hungry. How am I money hungry if y'all calling me for money? I don't never call y'all for money. 
But that's just the that's just the way they mind think, folks. Because see, what they doing is what people when people do that to you, okay? When people lash out and completely just you know just just dispute curses out at you like that, you know they really just talking about how they feel on the inside. That's how the demons show themselves. All right, they just basically telling you how miserable they are on the inside, and see what they trying to do is a coping mechanism. To, to, to make themselves feel good because they have insecurities about themselves. You know what I mean? They see you shining. They see you confident. You know, you might got on some nice clothes or something like that. They going to ask you, where you where you get that from? Walmart? They look like something I seen at Walmart. They going to say, oh, no, I got this from a mall. You get what I'm saying? But they, they do things like that. They say these words at you because they know they could never be who you are. So the only thing they're trying to do is break your confidence. Only thing they're trying to do is get you to believe that you are all those things that they call you. But you don't have to be. It's a choice. When people when people tell you things that you are not, that's not that doesn't apply to you. They don't have the power to tell you who you are and who you're not and what you're not capable of and what you can't do. They can't tell you what you've done and if it's bad or if it's good. They can't judge you, folks. That's what these Decepticons do, folks. They go around, they go around casting spells, talking shit to people, and they don't even really know the person. This is what they do because they not that way. They not confident. They not happy with themselves. And that's what miserable people do. Miserable, miserable people love misery. Miserable people love misery and have company with other miserable people. OK, but just because you happy with yourself, just because you got God, you know, just because you walking around with a smile on your face. Don't don't, don't listen. To, don't listen to people that say, why are you smiling so much? Why is it? Why does it bother you? You got your own mouth. Can't you smile, too? You smile. If you want to frown, frown. If you want to smile, smile. Don't be worried about how I'm moving my mouth. But this is what they do. Why you walk like that? Why are you walking like you think you are all that? This is how I'm walking. You don't have to walk like me. Why are you studying the way I walk? And that's another thing they do too, folks. See, these Decepticons, see, they, like I said, man, they, they might act like they, they support you. They might act like they your, your friend. They might act like they cool with you and all this and that. But really, they just trying to figure out how you do what you do, but they not ask you for help. They not going to ask you how to do shit. All right? They just going to want the fruits of your labor. They just want to come pick the fruits off your tree. That's all. They gonna they'll sit back, they'll sit back and, and, and say, and they'll sit back and say, uh, why are you building the boat? Why are you building the boat? What you think you who you think you is? You gonna build the boat? And they'll sit back and watch you grow a garden, they'll watch you work and, and, and go hard for whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. They won't say, Oh, you want me to come and help you? Oh, you want me to help you put that together? Oh, you want me to help you get it started? I can I can help you get it started. I know how I know this person, they won't do none of that shit. They just sit back and just watch you watch you work with their feet up. And then when you get it all built and you get everything done, here they come running back. Let me try it. Let me try and see what you got. Let me let me have some of that. No, you can't have none of this goodness. You get what I'm saying? Now they want to now they want to come and be a part of your goodness. After they don't see, they don't they know you were struggling. They know you was going through the storms and the hard times. They wasn't there helping you out, was they? No. Comment below and say they wasn't never helping me out. Just comment below and say they wasn't never helping me out. And that's what they do. When they see a little bit of when they see a little bit of your greatness, they see a little bit of your success, they see that you doing good now finally. Here they come. Hey, yeah, so what y'all doing over there? How's it going? What y'all it ain't your business what we doing. Now they want to come get in your business. Now they want to come to your house. No. No, no. Now they want to know what the meal and the recipe you making tonight. No, no, no. And this is what they do, bro. And then, like I said, when you don't give them that opportunity to be around you, when you don't bite the bait of them spewing out negative, toxic words and curses at you, when you don't, when you don't fall victim of it, this is when they lie. This is when they go tell lies about you. Now they spread rumors about you. She ain't this. She just like that. And she doing this and he doing that too. And he messing with all them girls. And he did this and he did that. And she did. That's what they do because they ain't got nothing else to do. Misery loves company. And they, like I say, most people want to see you just like them. So be mindful, bro. When people start telling you shit that ain't true about you, you don't have to listen to it. 
Let them say what they say and let that shit hit the brick wall. Okay, you said what you said. Cool. Good job. Keep up the good work. Misery loves company, folks. You know what I mean? Misery loves company. People just want attention. That's all they want is attention. And like I say, one son, if they feel like you get attention, if they feel like you know you you capable of you capable of uh, uh, attracting people to you, you know what I'm saying? Like you know, like look, like uh, uh, yeah, why why you sleeping around so much? They gonna say shit like that. It ain't your business what's going on in my personal life. Why are you so worried about my personal life? It's not your per it's not your life. Don't let people tell you who you can't date and who you can't be related. It's not they. It's not nothing to do. It, I can't help you. You can't attract who you want to attract, and everybody attracted to me. Once again, insecurity. They mad because when y'all go out, y'all hang out together, people be coming up to you asking you for your number. Or, you know, they mad because you pull up with sand on the beach. You know, you got a nice looking chick or something like that. They mad. Look, I, I seen you with that chick that day. Who with that? Who with that? That ain't none of your business. That's none of your business. I'm telling you, folks, a lot of people are really insecure about themselves. All right. And once again, they will try to put their insecurities on you and blame you and make it be your fault. It's not your fault. You're not responsible for their own lack of awareness. You're not responsible for other people's uh, way they feel about themselves on the inside. Yeah. Yeah, they might look good on the outside like they got it all together, but you will know after a while. Just sit back. Don't say too much. Just do you. Stay confident. Be happy with just being you. And you will see how the, how the deceptive kind of come out. Why you acting like that? You you say what you say? You said something. And like I said, folks, it's just it's all about power struggle. It's all about jealousy. It's all about power struggle. It's all about who did who getting the most attention. And like I said, you're going to come across so many people on your journey as you become successful who don't get as much attention as you, you know, who don't get as many numbers as you, bro. You feel me? Or who don't know how to dress. They probably don't got no style. They don't got no swagger or nothing. And they they see you with a swagger. And then, then, then now they're going to start questioning your swagger. You stuck. What you call them be doing that same thing? If them glasses real, they're going to start zooming in to your pictures and shit, trying to see if it's real. Uh -uh, it ain't real. Trying to just, trying to find something on you so you can look bad. Listen, you don't got to believe these folks, bro. Chosen one. Don't let people disrespect you. You feel me? You ain't got to listen to it. Okay? They can call you all, all they want to call, what they want to call you. They can't judge you. Only God can judge you. At the end of the day, God going to keep blessing you in front of these Decepticons. So let them talk. Let them feel, get their little five minutes of fame. All right. On that phone call. Let them get their little five minutes of fame on them text messages. Let them get their little five minutes of fame in your DM messages where they just talking all this trash and nonsense. Let them have it. Thank you. Because guess what? At the end of the day, God going to get them back because God see everything. Right. And that's why God going to keep blessing, blessing you right in front of their face. That's why God said, I will make your enemies your footstool. And next thing you know, you, you they be over there talking all this trash. They still talking trash about you. Well, meanwhile, you you partying somewhere. Meanwhile, you about to close on a new house. Meanwhile, somebody giving you an opportunity of a lifetime. Meanwhile, you making money. They still over there mad. You know why? Because, like I said, bro, they some Decepticons. They some Decepticons. And they wonder why they don't never get. People be wondering. Some people, they wonder why they not as blessed like you. Because look at how they treat you. You treat people the way you want to be treated. Not the way you need, you want to treat them. Okay? People, be a, be a ref when you speak things on other people, that's a reflection of you. I don't, me personally, I don't got to talk junk to nobody. I know I'm great. I know I'm great and it's all by myself. I'm comfortable around other people that feel great about themselves. If I'm sitting in a room with five guys and they all got their own money, they all got their own businesses, they all great, they all fly, I'm happy with them. I'm like, yo, what's up? You feel me? Like, because we all on the same frequency. I don't have to talk down on this brother. I don't have to talk down on this sister. Why well, I need to talk about... What well, I need to talk down on you for? I'm happy with myself. I don't need to win no competition with arguing with you. I'm happy by myself. I got what I need. Why should I talk shit about anybody? But see, that's how they do. 
If they had everything they need, if they had it all together, they wouldn't have a reason to talk and spew curses on your name. They wouldn't have a reason to talk at you sideways. That people won't have a reason to disrespect you. But the fact that they disrespect you, it just shows that they miserable on the inside. It's just like the chick that, that made my hat. The way she treated me. Oh, you think you you think you popular? Somebody calling your I don't even know you. I just want my hat, man. You feel me? This is a this is a store. You get what I'm saying? Misery loves company. She wanted me to, you know, she wanted me to be miserable with her. But no, just give me my hat. Y'all have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. It's your big bro trend, man. I can't make this up. Listen, I told you if you stayed to the end, you know I got something special for you, man. Look, I done already popped two again today. I'm almost halfway through my bottle. Iris Sea Moss, folks. Iris Sea Moss. It got bladder rack in it. got bird out. All organic stuff. I take it, man. I be feeling good. And I be charged up too, fellas, if you know what I mean. I be charged up off this. But it, it's all organic, man. Man, you got to get some of this, man. Um, It help with your immune system. It boosts your energy. Like, I got that energy now because I took this like an hour ago. You know what I mean? Like, my digestion is clean. You know, it, it, it strengthens your joints. Come on now. When the last time you drunk some milk? Exactly. But this will do it for you. This is going to strengthen your joints and just, it just, it's vegan, folks. It's 90, 90 capsules in this bottle right here. You know what I mean? Take this. You won't have to do nothing. You'll have energy. You'll feel good. You'll be alert. You'll be aware. You'll be able to see all the Decepticons. They won't be able to see you, though. Listen, and if you want to lose some weight for the New Year's, they also got fat burner, man. I mean, if, if I use this, I know this works. I don't really use this because I ain't I, I ain't trying to lose no weight. But if you're a woman out there, if you're a man and you want to lose some weight before the New Year's roll in, because I know you're going to be eating that turkey Thanksgiving on, on, on Thanksgiving Day, that turkey and all that food, all that gluttony. Okay, look, you got fat burning now after you eat all that food. All right. So make sure you click the link below if you want to get um, this uh, sea moss. You got to get you a bottle of it. Also, man, y'all already know Big Bro Book is out on Amazon and on Barnes and Nobles, man. I ain't gonna tell y'all the story, but man, I ain't gonna tell y'all a story of my book, but y'all gotta get it for yourself, for your kids. I Can Fly Too by me, Trinity Henderson. Um, it's a number one seller on Amazon right now for, for children's category. So um, get two or three of these copies of these right here. They, they super, super inexpensive, man. My books is inexpensive. Okay, so get one of these for your kids, man. This is a good story right here. Other than that, I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh, also, I still got it up for the people that don't got it yet. If you want the lost information for the star season and chosen ones, the information the aliens sent me, I don't know to this day who sent me these, these files. All right, if you want to see it, all right, make sure you click that link below. It's in the top of the comment section. Don't send me no email talking about I need a book, Trent. It's not a book. This is the book, all right? I'm talking about the files. I'm talking about the 10 vaults. The lost information for the star season, the chosen ones. Don't nobody know about this information except for you. Once you get it, click the link below up under this video. Make sure you get that. It's your big bro, Trent. Remember, man, if somebody call you out your name, if they say all this stuff about you and it ain't true, you ain't got to accept that, man. Just let them keep on talking and you just keep being great and keeping God first and watch God continue to still bless you in front of these Decepticons. It's your big bro, Trent, man. Peace.